What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance from Chance Wilkins Photography and whatnot. And first of all, I just want to say if you guys want to check out my latest photography work, um, as well as a wedding photo that somebody did take of my brother and his now wife, who's literally my sister-in-law. Uh, shout out to Sean and Christine Sands. Fucking love you, sis. Welcome to the family. What up, Sean? Love you, bro. But if you guys would like to check out my latest photography work, click both of the links up there. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. You guys can follow me on DeviantArt. Um, I will have my own site up very soon. I actually literally am working on that as we speak. Um, I will have my own portfolio gallery up. Because I know a lot of you guys are like, too, like you should make your own site, which is what I'm doing. I actually was planning on making my own site anyway to begin with, but a lot of people seem to think that you need to go to college and whatnot to work for major companies and this and that and now it is, which some you might, but for a majority of the companies nowadays, that's a lie. You do not need a college degree to go and be able to do photography as a living. Because let me tell you something. A lot of your best photographers these days don't go to college. A majority of your photographers these days never once went to college. As a matter of fact, 90% of them studied on their own, just like I've done for these last three years. A majority of them have gone out, studied, and, you know, really learn what it takes to make it. And let me tell you something. Y'all want to know what I started out with doing photography? I started out with this phone right here. This exact phone. And these. Five star prime lenses on Amazon for 20 bucks. That's what I started out with. And then after about two years of using these which I'll admit these are damn good. Like I said, they're 20 bucks on Amazon and you get free replacements. Once like if something breaks, you just email five star prime at their email and you can get replacements entirely free. You get a whole new kit for free. So that's actually a really good bonus for that. But you know, after about two to three years, I upgraded to this right here, which is, um, the Canon EOS Rebel C6, a great, great camera for photography, great for shooting video. I actually wound up shooting my music video, um, another day is over with this. Um, if you guys don't know, it was all black, it was dark, but it turned out to be a really good, you know, thing. It turned out to be a really good video. But everybody has this notion that you know, you have to go to college to make it in photography. That's a lie. You don't need to go to college to make it in photography. There's a lot of companies out there looking for people, you know, like myself, um, like my best friend and sister, Sandra. Um, and you guys don't know Sandra, I want you guys can check her out as Sandra. I'm on photography on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I've known Sandra since high school. And she's got some incredible work. You know, like I said, on the side, she does, you know, her band Sandcat. And then she does her photography as work to promote all that. But, you know, like, everybody seems to think that you need to, you know, go to college to, you know, be anything. Or to even, you know, making a photography, that's not true. There are actually some of the best photographies and the photographers and, you know, photography companies in the world. They look for, you know, people on Instagram. They utilize social media. And sorry, guys, I was actually just taking the other lens on, off and throwing my Zoom lens on because this is the one I use more than anything is the Zoom lens. But... You know, like people seem to think, oh, like you need to go to college. You need to do this and that. No, you don't. That's a fucking lie. 
like I said, there's companies out there that are willing to work with photographers that are good enough. And if they see that your work is consistent and they see that you're doing really good, more than likely they're going to ask you, hey, how much would you charge to sell this photo? How much would you charge to do this stuff? And then you can give them a set price. Um, I do know that, you know, you can sell photos on iStock, um, stock photos, um, FOP, which I use FOP. I use, um, what's the other one, Livewire. I use Guru Shots. I use Instagram. I use everything I can to utilize my photography skills. And everybody's always, always telling me, oh, like, you'll never make it, you know, you'll, you know, you'll not get anywhere if you're not going to college, which, you know, some people, for some people, you know, college is a good thing, but college isn't for everyone. College wasn't for me. Um, unfortunately, I never got the chance to graduate college, high school due to Ohio's fucked up school system, so I never got the chance to go to college, but let me tell you something. Some of the best minds and some of the best people in the world never went to college. Steve Jobs never went to college. Um, you know, many of the greats out there never went to college. I mean, I'm sure some of them did, but 99% of them about 90 to 95% of them never went to college. And look at them. They, become, they became some of the richest in the world. Bill Gates never went to college. Like, he studied on his own just like I'm doing. I look at him. Bill Gates is one of the richest people in the world. Literally. He's one of the richest people and wealthiest people in the world. Like, and these are pure, pure facts. Like... Everybody thinks you need to go to college to make it in photography. That's a lie. That is a straight up lie. You don't need a college degree. Because let me tell you something. Some of the best photographers in the world, such as myself and such as many others, never went to college. And look at us. We've got photos that people are actually wanting to buy that people are actually interested in and asking, why aren't you doing this for a job? See, y'all got it in your head that you need to be in college to do this and that. No, you don't. Those are the old days. I mean, yeah, back in the day when I was a kid, if... You know, if you went to college, you had to... Like, you had to go to college in order to make it in photography back then, but... The world's changed. The world has changed in a major way. You no longer need a college degree to make it in photography. You can literally make it on your own if you know what you're doing. And I'm slowly learning that process of knowing what you're doing as far as, you know, social media, branding. I'm slowly learning all that. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I tried a couple of friends today asked me, they were like, you know, if I had money to earn, they didn't ask me if they were telling me because they were really enjoying my photos. And they told me straight up, you know, if I had money and I wasn't broke, <clears throat> I would actually go on the web and, you know, go to DeviantArt where you have your stuff. And I would personally buy these photos. Like I would buy these as prints. So you see, you can make it in photography. You don't need to go to college. All you need, like nowadays, all you need is something like this, like your phone or a tablet. And then, and then these right here, if you want to invest. I mean, seriously, all of these for 20 bucks, and it comes with, 
a wide lens, which is this one right here. It comes with a clip to attach to your phone, which is currently attached. Uh, it comes with a couple little fun ones like Kaleidoscope and Stars. Uh, it comes with a cell phone, like your typical cell phone piece, like your cell phone lens. Um, it comes with a macro lens. It comes with a telephoto lens. And it comes with a... A fun little fisheye lens, which I love fisheye lenses for, you know, doing skate photos and whatnot. But that's all you need is 20 bucks to get your hands on these on Amazon, which they're very good. They're I highly recommend these for starting out. Like if you guys look at my foot, if you guys look at my photography album on Facebook, it literally starts from oldest. It starts from the oldest stuff. And goes down to the newest stuff. And a majority of my oldest stuff I used on this. So uh, you can see my progression and just how well these ones and how well these lenses work. You know, people seem and that's what confuses me is why everybody seems to think that you have to go to college for making a photography. No, the fuck you don't. Whoever's telling you that you need to go to college to and get a degree to, you know, make it a music, they're full of shit. Companies don't necessarily want somebody that went to college. They just want somebody that has good quality, high resolution photos that they that the people are willing to sell or the people are willing to let them use. Like that's just pure fact. In fact, I myself actually wound up submitting some photos to a few companies myself. And I'm just waiting for them to, you know, email me back and say, hey, you know, we like these or hey, you know, these are good, but we're not interested in these right now. But like I said, whoever's telling you guys that you need to go to college and get a degree to do photography on a pro level, don't listen to them. You know, take whatever jobs you can get. Like myself, I'm currently waiting for the government shutdown to be over so that I can get a temporary job doing photography at Walmart. At least temporary until, temporarily until, you know, I can move on and get and, you know, more stuff, better gear, and be able to, you know, go for major companies. Now, as I did say, I am looking at smaller companies. I am looking at magazine submissions. Um, if you guys would like to follow me, you guys can follow me on Instagram. And check out my latest work on there. You guys can check out my DeviantArt. And I know a lot of you guys are asking for the hundredth time, am I doing a website? for to display my stuff and the answer to that is yes for the millionth freaking time yes i am working on a website to be able to display my photography and stuff like that so you guys can do that you'll be able to check that out soon but if you guys do want to buy prints off of deviantart you can like I'm totally cool with that. You guys can buy, you know, physical prints, digital prints, whatever. You know, it's cool with me. The only one I ask that you don't buy, or if you want to, it's cool. Which would be kind of weird if you did. Which is my brother Sean and his now wife Christine on their wedding day. Like, I put that up there as kind of like a, hey, you know, I'm proud of these guys kind of thing. Like, this is my brother and my new, you know, my sister-in-law. Like, this is my family here. But no, I didn't take the, I did not take that specific photo. I just posted it up because I thought it would be something interesting and new to post up. A lot of people keep asking me, did I take that photo? No, I didn't. I wish I would have, but I didn't. I wish I would have been the one to take that photo. Like, that would have been super cool. But, uh, you know, like, it, 
you know, it's, you know, it's a great photo, you know, definitely congratulations to my brother, Sean, on getting married, man, like, you fucking rock, dude. Uh, if you guys don't know, they actually got married a couple months ago on December 1st. So that was super cool. But uh, like I said, you know, you don't need to go to college to make it in photography. Like I said, a lot of the best photographers in the world nowadays never went to college. 99% of them started out just like you and me. They started out with their phone. And then, you know, over time, they upgraded to, you know, stuff like this right here, the Canon Rebel C6. And then, you know, from there, their careers took off. Why? Because they put themselves out there. They utilized social media to build their brand. They used their platforms that they're comfortable with to you know, build their audience, build their platform. Like, that's what they did. So, like I said, whoever's telling you guys that you need to go to college to get found by a big company, they're full of shit. You don't need to go to college. And granted, yeah, college is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't go to college, you know. I'm not anti-college. I'm all for college. If that's what you want to do, that's great. But think about this. Would you rather spend the rest of your life to the, like, the next 10 to 15, 20 years in debt just to learn some stuff that you can learn on your own? Like, and I know this is kind of taking from somebody that's pretty well known that does speak facts. Um... His name is Tyler Lopez. You guys can look him up on YouTube. And people think that he's full of shit, but there are some things that he does say that are very true. And this, what I'm about to say is taken from him, but this is something that applies to everything. If you want to go and do something, do it. You know, like if you want to go to Egypt, like, let's say you want to learn the culture. Like, let's say you want to learn, you know, Egyptian or anything like that. Like, something like that. You know, go to Egypt. Study their culture. Study their language. Immerse yourself in that stuff. Just like with photography. If you want to learn photography like I've been studying for the last two or three years, immerse yourself in it. Grab your phone. Go on YouTube. Watch the videos. Learn how to do it properly, just like I've been doing. Immerse yourself in that. You don't need to spend all that money to make it. And it's completely true. You don't need, you know, a $50 million camera with a fucking $20,000 fucking super massive telescope lens. Like, you can simply start off you know, with, you know, this right here and a pack of $20 lenses off of Amazon. Or if you don't have the money, you, there are apps on phones nowadays that can get just as good a quality as you can with a regular camera. Because most phones nowadays come equipped with that because they, the, they have Instagram and photography in mind. So, you know, you don't need money to make it. You just got to know what you're doing. You got to know how to put yourself out there. You got to know how to, you know, build your brand, which, like I said, as far as, you know, building on my stuff goes, that's what I'm doing right now currently. You know, I'm currently building up my stock of photos. I'm building up my portfolio on Instagram, on Facebook, on you know, Guru Shots on Fope, on Livewire. Like, I'm building it up on all these different platforms to make myself known so people can actually see my work. And then from there, you know, I start tagging people. Like, I'll start, you know, tagging people. Like, once I hit the 100 mark on Instagram, then I'll start, you know, tagging people. And be like, hey, you know, like, 
you know, this is what I've got today, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not about the college degree. It's about knowing what you're doing. Plain and simple. So for those of you that, you know, want to learn photography and do it professionally as a living, you can. You really can. You can start right now if you want to. You can grab your phone. And if you've got the lenses, you can grab your lenses. Or if you got a camera that's just sitting around, um, you guys can grab that and just go out and start shooting. You know, go out and start shooting your photos. You know, study videos. That's what I did. That's how I learned. I studied YouTube videos. And they came in quite handy. But, you know, that's the thing. Like, you don't need a college degree to study it. Like, you can go on YouTube and look up hundreds of videos and tutorials and tips and tricks on how to get started properly. Like I said, all you need is your phone and an eye for it. That's all you need. You just need that, that good eye for photography and a phone. That's all you need. So like I said, whoever says you need a college degree to make it in photography, they're full of shit. They are completely full of it. Anybody tells you that, don't listen to them. Because chances are, they've never done it. Chances are, they, chances are they don't know business or technology or how social media works these days. Because they're stuck in the old ways. But uh, with that being said, guys, I do hope that I helped some of you guys out. As I said, if you guys would like to check out my photography and what I got so far, you guys can hit me up on Instagram. You guys can check me out on DeviantArt. Uh, I do have an official site coming very soon, so keep that in mind. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I'm about to bounce off here, kick it, chill. Um, seeing as today is the weekend, I'm just going to sit down, relax. Um, and, you know, post all my photos from this past week, and yeah. But with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. And remember, don't let anybody tell you that you need to go to college to make it, because you don't need to go to college to make it. It just takes this right here, smarts. It takes this and knowing what you're doing. That's all it takes.